Students for Educational and Economic Development and the Causa Ministerial Alliance present You've Got the Power with the Reverend James Luther Bevel, former aide to Dr. Martin Luther King and also founder of the Nonviolent Human and Community Research and Development Institute and now pastor of evangelism of the South Shore Community Church, 7401 South Yates, Chicago, Illinois. And now, Reverend Bevel. Good morning. Again, we come to summon you to wake up, get up, and clean up. For we stand now on the threshold of a great revolution, the revolution of awakening. And so we call you to awaken, to get up, to clean up, to wake up, get up, and clean up. Today we have some subjects we want to discuss with you and we would like for you to pay close attention and we would like for you to call your neighbors and tell them to tune in to WYCA 92.3 FM on their dial and listen to the wake up, get up, clean up message. And someone I'm sure will ask, well, what is this wake up, get up, clean up? Well, those of us in SEED, the Students for Education and Economic Development in Kauza, have been summoned by the Holy Spirit to demonstrate love, service, and goodwill to those who have not yet been awakened. And we ask you to join us in the Great Awakening. If you are a member of an organization, please join every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. on WYCA-FM 92.3 on your radio dial in preparation for our weekly wake up, get up, clean up campaign. We ask churches and Sunday schools, choirs, youth fellowships, block clubs, precinct organizations, community organizations, families, sororities, fraternities, and all organizations, we are asking them to pick an eyesore in their community and turn it into an oasis of beauty. In other words, when those of us who know what needs to be done stop complaining and begin to do it, then we can inspire those who do not know what to do and have not even come to consciousness to their social 
and community responsibility. And so we're asking everybody, the churches, Sunday schools, choirs, block clubs, youth fellowships, precinct organizations, community organizations, families, sororities, and fraternities to look around in your community and see an eyesore and then as a group uh, turn it into an oasis of beauty. Somebody asked us, well, where did you come up with this idea? Well, this movement was inspired by the noble efforts of Alderman Dorothy Tillman and the Third Ward Democratic Organization. Every Saturday, the Alderman and many volunteers choose an area in their community to work and transform. And that movement is having such a positive effect on the people in the Third Ward and on the appearance of the, that community, we felt compelled to join that effort and ask other communities to do likewise. For that noble effort and its positive effect that it is having on that community certainly need to be spread and shared throughout the Chicago area. And so we're asking everybody to join in and wake up, get up, and clean up. When I was a youth and lived in the South, that was something we did every Saturday morning. And in, in, in our uh, getting ready for Sunday school and church on Sundays and getting ready to celebrate on Saturday evening our weekly work, and we would all get up and clean up the community. And so that as we celebrated on Saturday evening and as we got ready to go to worship and to study on Sunday, our communities were clean. And somehow that basic principle of caring and maintaining the community has been lost. And so we are calling on Christian communities and conscious people everywhere to join us in the movement to wake up, get up, and clean up. Now, those of you who are interested in being involved, some of you who live on the south side and you want to pick up some posters, we have some beautiful posters. And I shall read the poster for you. It says... It has a picture of Dr. King, and it says he was tired, but he had to wake up. He was stoned, but he had to get up. He saw the problems and began to clean up. And then, then it says, tune in to WYCA 92.3 FM on your dial every Saturday morning. And so we, you might...